Hey folks, I had a few people point out in my last video that was on desktop VR uh, using a MetaQuest Pro that it will definitely be interesting to check this out, the full body tracking SDK movement sample, Unreal Engine 5.3 from Meta, etc. on a Quest 3 because of the placement of the cameras. So just thought we'd do a quick test of that. So this time we're going standalone. You see this wire because it's just helping with uh, the recording, but we're just gonna pop right in and take a look. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just doing hand tracking, keep this real simple. And uh, what am I doing? I'm going over to my apps, my movement sample, and we'll whiz through the first couple. There's a little permission thing at the beginning that makes sure everything is working. Um, no face tracking or mouth tracking. Interesting, it says my space might be too dark to track fast hand motions, which is weird because this is a pretty well-lit space. Like I can see things fine. <laughs> um, it, I might wanna see like what the past review looks like if that helps at all. But the mouth audio is all based on audio. And uh, I just wanna note again, I do like the way that when it loses tracking of hands for the most part, it's not too stuttery, it just kind of returns them to a natural kind of idle place, right? So I move my hands too quick and then just kind of does that. I wanna see more of that because if I do this and it kind of stutters, that feels a little bit weird. Um, but anyway, I do just wanna point out that the mouth tracking, mouth tracking is pretty good considering it's all audio. So we go like A, E, I, O, U, sometimes Y. And of course that doesn't need good lighting or anything like that. What I don't like here, is the eyes. The eyes are very dead. Uh, they're not blinking at all. Um, they're not flickering. They're not doing any of the natural things that you'd expect in an avatar. I mean, they're doing this in Horizon Worlds um, with the meta avatars over there. I don't know why they wouldn't just add it here. Okay, let's jump over to the upper body one. So, you know, this is good IK. I like the way the torso moves in relation to the arms. Um, you know, we're not doing anything with the shoulders here that's too wild, too crazy and it looks good. Um, the mouth also, A, E, I, O, U, 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 U. Yeah, I'm trying to get the pucker lips there. O, yeah, that works. Um, but again, the eyes, the eyes are not moving. No one does that. No one just stares straight ahead in whatever direction their head is pointing. Um, so I'd like to see that improved, but let's go to the most exciting thing, the bone retargeting. So we've got our full mannequin, which again, we should be able to map to a metahuman. Um, and by default, it's doing this kind of thing where it's like, yeah, we got some knee bends, but it doesn't really know how to handle any kind of movement, right? So I go forward, backwards, etc. <laughs> just making sure we're still recording. And um, the bending is fine, but it doesn't, it's not gonna do anything to try to figure out, like if I'm taking a step forward or a step back, it's just gonna glide. Uh, so now let's go ahead and do inside out body tracking high and full body set. I think that's what the S stands for. And now we have something that's using, I don't know, some kind of AI, whatever they've been saying, uh, where you'll see that like it's trying, there's just a lot more animation in here, a lot of more, I want to say guesswork into what I am probably doing. Now, of course, lifting my legs up, that doesn't do anything. Um, but let's try this. The trickiest thing with this setup with someone in VR and trying to do full body tracking is leaning versus walking, right? Because I can be in VR, I'm gonna plant my feet and I can lean forward, right? And there's a little bit of, you know, gliding there, but like it's trying to determine, am I taking a step or am I just leaning? And the answer of course is that right now I am just leaning. Now let's try taking a step, take a step. And there we go. The character took a step, take a step back, takes a step. Step to the side, step to the side, step left, step right, step left, step right. You know, it's not perfect, but it's an improvement in the general direction of just not feeling like you need to have a full mocap suit for everything. Um, so, you know, it's kind of a, a first pass at all this. Good to see it. I definitely am gonna try to get this working with metahumans and I will see you next time. I wish I knew ASL. Cheers.